Hello everybody, my name is Raylan Milana, and today, I'm going to show you how to make your own DIY CB microphone. I know it's not completely DIY, um, it's not even in the greatest condition, tape all over it. This is the best way, in my opinion, to give you guys a CB radio. Um, for American Truck Simulator, them introducing the new Convoy mode um, brings a lot more into the multiplayer aspect. So, you know, with um, a CB microphone, it is in built into all trucks. Well, not all trucks. I think it's an option that you can use. You hold it up to your mouth, hold down the button, and then it, it's like a walkie-talkie. Transmits between other trucks. So my question was, how do you make a budget version of it? Now, yeah, you can go online and get an ASP um, heavy hauler, which um, I don't remember the exact price, but I know it's pretty expensive. Okay, I just looked up the specs. The Heavy Hauler ASP that comes with the CB microphone is a whopping 250 USD, which is a lot of money. <laughs> so, um, my question was, how do we make it a cheap budget version that anyone can make at home? Now, mine does require some parts that you may not have, but a lot of it's easy. I do have, I have found another video on making a other budget version of a actual out of an actual CB microphone. I will link his video down below. It's way more helpful. But again, his requires um, soldering, um, desoldering a meter, a multimeter. I think that's what you call it, which is not not everyone has that. This requires nothing of that sort. So you may ask, what is this? This is a wireless mouse that I got from King Supers for really cheap. Um, I can hold up the specs up here. It's a DI all-terrain mouse, um, and this is wireless. You can get a wired one, but the wire would be coming out of here, not back here. This is a shoelace. That's fun. Okay, so this is the entire mouse taken apart. You got the screw. That holds these two pieces together. There's a clip in the front at the logic board right there. And you got the cover for the top. Now, the first thing you want to do is when you take this thing apart, grab your cover and remove these two stubs in the front. So there's four stubs. Four of them clip on. And four of them... Um, uh, the other two make the... I, you can't hear it. The clicky. Make the um, left click and right click, right, right click work. So what you want to do is you want to remove these using, I just used um, a um, wire cutter, but you can use and sand it off if you want to make it look better, which removes your accidental left click and right click. Then um, what you want to do, uh oh, where'd my shoelace go? <laughs> I lost my shoelace. Um, that's everything you need to do. Um, you don't need to mess with the logic board or anything. It's actually relatively nice. Um, also, if you do want to do anything with soldering or desoldering, please remove the battery. I did not, and I forgot about that. But, again, very be very cautious with working with electronics. Now, I'm going to insert the shoelace into here, because this is a wireless mouse, and I want to put a wire on it. Enter, insert the shoelace... Put the first cover on it. And then this is a pain in the booty to get working. I said booty, yeah, okay, cool. Um, this is a pain in the butt to get working. Um, as you can see, I'm failing to struggle to record right here. I'm gonna put this all together. There goes the shoelace. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this. <laughs> Okay, so I got, oh, I just moved the camera stand. Um, so I did get the two front, two front ends here, covered up um, in the front, so the two front clips. And what you're gonna do is just enter your screw, make sure it's smashed enough to where you can screw it in. Um, so, let's be careful here. And screw this in. Okay, now we got it all screwed in. Now you can just make sure if you want to tighten it, make sure nothing is going to fall out because that can happen. 
Now you're not going to get a perfect crunch on this thing. But you're going to have a bit of a gap here, but it's fine because there it is. What you do is you put your cover back on. Now I put a piece of tape over. So now as you can hear, you can't hear it, but there is no right click and left click working now. But now only middle click works. So now you got a button in the middle. Middle click. So um, there it is. I put tape over it so you don't accidentally use your scroll wheel. I also put tape over the other side so you should be able to see the blue. Um, it's more visible for you guys on camera than it is for me. It does identify it, so honestly, I do recommend getting a masking tape or something like that and putting it over instead of the clear tape with um, Sharpie over it. So once that's all done, you got it worked in and we um, are able to switch into game mode and show you guys how the CB mic works. Okay, so I'm going to try my best to make this possible by editing these two videos together because um i'm accidentally stopped recording yeah that's me so this is another part to this mouse so this mouse uh so once we get into the game which is uh that button we're gonna go ahead and be able to go to our settings go to our key buttons now if we do look through here um we should have in here somewhere I think it's near the bottom actually uh, it might be in other I'm trying okay push to tuck right now it's X go in here do middle button so now the primary button for push to tuck is middle button so I'm gonna go ahead and start a convoy just a Private convoy. Uh, we're gonna go in here. We'll do password. We'll just do it. That's just X. <laughs> uh. Okay. We'll confirm. Okay, so now we're in game. I don't have my steering wheel set up, but that's fine. Um, once we get in, uh, let, let's just wait. Uh, how long is this gonna take? Come on, I want. I do not want to. Okay, we're in game. We're in our international. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. N now, obviously, I don't think my mic's set up right. I would have to actually unplug this camera if I wanted to be set up right. But And now, you actually just use your normal microphone that you would always use. Not the one that's because there's no microphone in the mouse. So you just use your headset microphone. But this adds a little bit of realism into anything. Which is great. That's what we wanted. So, we got it. Um, if you enjoyed this and found it helpful, thank you for watching. Um, this will be going up on my Discord server, so that's probably how you're going to get to it. Thank you all. See you later.